liminal spaces. These things, as we already know, are extremely trippy, mind-bending, and often dangerous. And definitely something you wouldn't want to be caught in. I mean, I don't know about you, man, but, you know, a place that you can't escape from that's often populated by spooky monsters isn't really for me. Which is unfortunately why we're going into one today in Liminal Gallery, the new game by Ken Forrest. Now we've played a few of his games in the past and this one I'm sure is also not going to disappoint. So here we go, we're going into a gallery that may or may not be liminal, may or may not have monsters in it, and may or may not be something I ever escape from. Welcome to the Liminal Gallery. Okay, and here we go. Welcome to, I guess, the Liminal Gallery. And that is closed, okay. I like the effects of the game so far. The art style is pretty nice. I really like this whole little thing that's got going on with the radio here and the sound effects. That's pretty neat. It's a cardboard box here, okay. Oh, it's no longer closed, I guess. Okay, do we just go to the gallery then? Seems like a terrible idea. Caution, wet floor, okay. Oh. Ah, I guess it's the part where we fall into the back rooms. Somehow we didn't die. Oh, and yeah, this looks already decidedly more sinister. The music is not helping my uh, judgment of that either. We can take this photo. Hold right click to aim, okay, and that to accept. Oh! Oh, it's like the, um... Oh, okay, I like this. We use photos to actually change the environment and progress. Kind of reminds me of that uh, photo game that's coming out. Oh, okay, I'm, I'm all for this. I like this already. Right. So we got another one over here. And I guess we just have to take it, aim it, and rotate it this time, okay. That is really cool. I like this already. Okay, and we got a photo here. Oh, and we have to take the photo. It removes the door. Can we just go in the door? No, we can't. Okay, so we have to just keep going this way instead. We have another photo here. A bunch of people or cardboard cutouts. Ooh. This is kind of freaky, actually. And now it's like another photo. Okay. I already have a feeling this is going to go really badly. Very fast. But there is a door in this one. Oh my god, this is a mess. Okay. Let's get the hell out of here. Cool. That was weird. That was very weird. All right. Oh, there's a photo right here. Take. This is... Oh, yeah. I can see where they mean liminal. This is very, uh... Oh, we can sprint. Okay, I don't like the fact that we can sprint. Whenever you're presenting me with, like, a place like this, and the idea that we can sprint, it generally means there's something that is... Not very nice around. You can jump. And what do we do with that? Fall off? We... Ah, oh, okay. Ah, oh, I see what we gotta do. Okay. We do this. Then we gotta go all the way over here. We gotta take the photo, come back, and then get that other photo. But yeah, I don't know. The fact that it's giving me the ability to sprint, don't like it. Generally means it's a monster we're gonna have to deal with, and I'm not okay with that. But, I'm always uh, willing to see if something spooky happens. Can we, uh, well, not die to it? So, alright, we wanna go over here. Stairs right here. Oh my god, this looks like it's the kind of game that will get cluttered really fast. Oh, and we're... A photo. There's another one right here. 
This art gallery is already getting extremely messed up. And there's our door. Let's get the hell out of here. Oh. Is that water? Yes, it is. Okay, so we're in the flooded corridor now. There's a lot of pitch black spookiness right there. Nice beach scene. Oh, this is really cool. It just literally cuts the entire map. And creates this massive canvas. That's amazing. I really like this. This is really well done. It's not the spookiest I thought it would be. Nicely rendered boat there. A lot of spooky looking ducks. How's it going, fellas? I don't trust a single one of you, considering I remember just how spooky the ducks in uh, Dark Deception were. Oh, okay, right, so. Oh, that's a giant spider. No, I'm not. Who? Okay, it came out of the frame by itself. Cool. Oh. Oh, that's a giant banana. Okay. Oh, and that's a person. That's a person. Who? Okay, yeah, it's getting it's getting kind of unsettling now. I was enjoying it, now I'm not. Okay. Ooh, hello. Uh-huh. Yeah. Okay. This is kind of fucked up looking. These eyes are so creepy. And of course, they do turn to watch me. I gotta be careful not to just fall off and die. Because we wouldn't want that. And we have a camera. Oh, so we can take our own photos now. Can we? Yeah, oh my god, I love this. Okay. So, what are we supposed to do here? Is there anything we can? Aha! Right. Oh, this is unfortunate, because we might die doing this? Yep, okay. Hmm. That was not the plan. <laughs> All right, let's do this again, shall we? So we've got this up here. Which we can turn to view, click. And we go in and there we go. Camera film, nice. Okay, so we take the camera. Turn it around. I really like this. This is... What? It just deleted my floor? Okay. Wasn't expecting that. Okay, that was weird. Oh. Oh, I see. Okay. Can we cheese this? Can we just like, you know... Yes, we can. There we go. Okay, more camera film. We got eight of them now. Nice. And then what we do is we just do that. Fall through. Door must be upright? But it is.
broke it. Oh no. Our our hubris. Our hubris is Okay. There we go. But the door is upright. Oh wait, I know what's going on. Okay. Do that. Broken again. Oh, no. We've ruined it. We screwed it. Oh, no. Do you have to restart the level, I guess? There we go. Took a few tries, but we got there. Take this camera film. That's unfortunate. We have completely ruined ourselves there. Let's jump on to here. I guess extend that, and there we go. Another easy solve. Kind of. Maybe. Right, so now we need to... I guess take a photo of this. Do that. What about this? Can we can we get get around? Ah, we barely cannot. Okay. Come on, let me in. Let me in. Please. I'm so close. Ah. There we go. Let me just jump over there. Open the door. Takes a few tries, but it works. Okay. Oh, right. I can see where this is going. We need to take a photo of the stairs. We can't go. Let me just go up here, up here, in the door. There we go. Wasn't too difficult. Although, I'm kind of curious to see what exactly the deal is now because we saw some spooky creatures. And I kind of, you know, kind of worried that the spooky creatures will be making a comeback. Soon, TM. Ah, I see what we're gonna do. So if we just do as decent an angle as we can, and then we'll put that like right down there. Get a photo. So we can actually jump on to. I really like this effect. This is super cool. Oh my god, what do we got here? A duck. Ah! Ken's forest ducks. You love to see it. So you got the space duck. Oh no, we killed one duck with another duck. And then, yes, another duck. For anyone who doesn't know, Ken forest loves to, uh, Put ducks in all those games is like a an actual throwback for every game. I don't know why. It's great. I love it. And then we got yes another one of these. Kind of getting nervous now because it feels like you know these games usually last about twenty five minutes. And while they're not an inherently like jump scary or something like that, it always just like. Kind of gives, like, existential crisis vibes, I guess. So I'm kind of curious to see exactly what we're going to be dealing with uh, when we get to the end of the road on this one. The moon. 
Wait, don't tell me we're actually gonna go on the moon or something, are we? We're falling down onto the moon. Huh? Right? Oh, there's a painting here. The end. Yeah, thanks for playing. That's it? Okay. I was expecting to actually, like, you know, meet a grisly fate or something like that. But you know what? Ha. Huh. That's it. Yeah, that was Liminal Gallery. And honestly, very eerie, very spooky. But no overall, I guess, scary in the form of, like, we were being chased by a big spooky monster that wanted to kill us. It was just really just unsettling liminal art with a really cool photography mechanic which uh there are a few games upcoming that i'm super excited to play that uh, are all doing this kind of thing so it really was like a, a very pleasant uh experience to actually see this so yeah it was liminal gallery hope you enjoyed it i sure as hell did and we're gonna leave it here and yeah wow i was actually expecting it to be just like you know something spooky but ken forest actually to his credit ken forest actually does make some seriously cool games and they're never just like your standard horror so this one was interesting i really liked it and i hope you did too if you did of course make sure to drop a like on the video subscribe to the channel if you want to see the rest of his games there'll be a link in the description below as always and yeah that's it thank you for watching the liminal gallery and participating in the experience with me. For now, I'll see you in the next one. Till then, have a good one.